Victoria joins Heidi out on a walk. All right, girls, let's go. And quickly discovers Tilly and Jillian's unusual fear. So they actively hate the storm drains, don't they? Uh, They're pulling uh, away from it. Very much so. I mean, Ooh. if you can see Tilly's just, she's scared. I have no idea why they're deathly afraid of storm drains. I do know that the only reason Jillian is afraid is because Tilly was afraid. I don't think Pumpkin's scared of it as much. She may just be going with the group. She senses the but... overall fear from it. How bizarre. One of the things that's you know pretty bad when we are walking is the reaction to other dogs. It's pretty embarrassing when we go out on walks. <laughs> It really doesn't make any sense. They're so small, but yet they scare big dogs. Jillian is in the green. She's the instigator. That's what we think. OK, there's another dog coming up here. Uh, OK, all of them, all one of them. them. And then they, and then they... Oh. On a walk, these cute Maltese turned into ferocious monsters, gnashing, baring their teeth at the other dog as they went past. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yes. The person who was walking oh. his dog towards us picked his dog up because his dog was so scared. That was a little on the mild side. That was mild? Yeah, that was mild. But while Heidi struggles to control the three dogs she has, she still has plans to add to her family. If I had the room and um, they were better behaved, um, I would probably have just a gaggle of Maltese, you know, five or six more. Five or six more Maltese. <laughs> you would add five or six more dogs to these. The more the merrier. The three dogs she already has she can't control. She's gonna add another five or six to them? This is extreme. Why is it? Why do you need so many dogs? I honestly, I feel like I have so much love to give that why not, you know, get a few more and share that love. What about a social life? Do you have a social life? Um, you know, three dogs, they're a lot of responsibility. So, you know, if I'm out, I do have to get home to them. I don't like to leave them for more than a couple of hours. But does this affect your relationships? Uh, what relationships? Oh, so you don't have relationships? <laughs> um, with them, yeah. No, I'm I mean, talking about <laughs> relationships with people, with guys. I would say the dogs are the biggest part of my life right now. They're what I look forward to coming home to. They're who I sleep with. Um, so they are the best part of my day. If you go out with friends, you're always thinking about getting back to the dogs. Yeah, absolutely. Heidi's social isolation also leads to the dog's social isolation, not allowing them to experience different environments, different places, different people, different dogs. She's actually making her dogs more neurotic. The terrified storm drains. Yeah. And you don't know why that happened. No. Is that a trauma? Or is it because they hear something down those drains that makes them uh, Oh, I didn't think about Remember? that. No. Sound sensitive dogs. Oh, they hear things that you don't even hear. Victoria now wants to work with Tilly and Jillian on their unusual anxiety around storm drains. To see these dogs have to just scrabble away from the drain because they're so scared of it is really sad. And again, I think it's just playing into the more neurotic side of their nature. Because Tilly and Jillian feed off each other, Victoria wants to work with each dog individually. First up is Heidi and Tilly. Go find. I'm gonna use the go find game because it gives them something else to do rather than concentrate on, I feel scared. Go find. Good girl. So I wanted to start right on top of the storm drain. Because playing games with dogs in places where they're fearful can help a dog get over their fear. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk backwards and forwards over the storm drain. And we're going to go like that. Good girl. There you go. Nice. So I want you to take her back over it. OK. And do what I did. OK. It's OK. Till, till. No, no, no. And don't. You see, that's just... what. When you start speaking, till, 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 till. Yeah. Quickly like that to a dog, yeah. it can make them feel just a little bit more agitated. OK. I'm not going to let her scrabble away. I'm going to ignore that, and I'm going to wait for that leash to become less tense. OK, so do that. Good, OK. So she scrabbles away, stand there and ignore. Come on, Till, let's go. Good girl. Now, now don't pull. Wait. Good girl, Till. Nice. Good girl. Very nice. Put a treat in the middle Till. of that drain, the Till. middle of the circular bit. Right there. Good. Good girl. Come on. And proceed to walk off. Good girl. Very nice. It worked really well. I'm glad that I have a technique to use when they do that, because in the past, I really have just I've pulled them where they need to go. 
With Tilly showing promising signs of overcoming her fear, it's time for Bridget to work with Jillian. Make sure you wait until the leash is loose. No, don't move. It's still taut. It was frustrating because she wasn't getting it. I was thinking, is that me? Am I the problem? Is it Jillian? Come on. Don't. OK, come on. What did I say? I know, I know. The no leash commenting. is taut. Jillian? Oh. No. I, I know, I know. I'm sorry. Only go find. Yeah. Don't even look at her. Okay. Wait. <clears throat> now, good. Put the thing on there. Go find. Go find. Go find. Good. That's it. Good. Now she's actually walking <laughs> onto the storm drain because she wants girl. to find it. When I saw that huge storm drain, I was skeptical. I wasn't sure if she was going to be able to do it. Um, but she did. Victoria goes outside to focus on Jillian's bad walking habits. When those dogs are going off all of three together, it does sound like someone's having a real problem. Like these dogs are fighting. Jillian is the worst, and that's why I picked her. She's the one that starts that reaction. Then the other dogs, when they hear her go, they go too. So I want to work with her. Walking the dogs together is sheer madness. They're reacting because they're uncomfortable around other dogs. And once one goes, it sets the others off. While she's doing that, I'm going to take her off in the other direction. Jillian's response looks like she wants to attack the other dog. But really, I think she just wants to get the other dog away from her. I'm going to start working her in the presence of the other dog. Good girl. So good things happen to her when she's right next to the other dog. When you take the emotion out of this reaction and you begin to work the dog's mind in the presence of something that it fears, the dog begins to feel less emotional and more into concentrating on working to get the pleasurable consequences. Very nice. Very nice. I wanted Jillian to see that being by the other dog was fine. There was no problem. She wasn't under any threat at all. Now, Victoria has Heidi give it a try. And put her into a sit. She's also seeing the fact that she is next to another dog is a good thing. So you're making her confident around other dogs, but you're also saying you can't lunge. Now she's got to learn. I have to take cues off my owner. I have to do what my owner says. And actually, if I do it, she either gives me nice food or she smiles at me or she pets me. That's pretty good. Jillian has some deep-rooted anxieties. And if Heidi and Bridget keep working with her, keep introducing her to other dogs, one day it's going to be no big deal. And Jillian will relax and keep working at it. And Heidi. Don't get any more dogs. <laughs> you don't need them. You don't need them. Now, I know you're not convinced, but you have to really work with these three because it's not just about what you want. It's about what your dogs can cope with. And when you keep on adding more and more and more and more dogs, it, it is a selfish thing because I think these three, you know, they have their own troubles trying to exist together. You bring more into the mix, you could upset everything. That's where you have and to And undo think. all the training. You bet. No, and, and seeing how much work it is to be a responsible pet owner for these three, I don't know that I could handle that with five or six more. So I think you're right. I think we have so much more information now that I don't think we would go out and get another one. I mean, yeah. I know I wouldn't, but yeah. right now, I feel like it would, it would be irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. OK. Well, I'll so. be watching. OK. <laughs> don't you dare. Later in the week, Victoria checks in on the sisters' progress. Today, Heidi is taking Victoria's advice and spending a few hours out with friends and away from the dogs. I met some friends, went for drinks, and the girls did enter my mind while I was out. I think it's only natural that I think about them, but I feel like I'm making steps toward leaving them at home. While Heidi is out enjoying some independence... Good girl, Jillian. Bridget has taken the opportunity to work with Jillian near the storm drain. I was nervous about the storm drain training because I wasn't sure if she would have the confidence to do it just me and her. Bridget waits for Jillian to relax before urging her closer with the go find game. Go find. Go find, Jillian. Good girl. Well done, Bridget. The more you do this, the more confident Jillian will be, and soon she'll be passing storm drains without any problem at all. 